If you are a USC fan, you may not want to watch this full video. If you were Colorado buff, you definitely would enjoy this video because ESPN analyst Paul Finbaum just made a bold prediction about Lincoln Riley's future at USC, which should impact Juju Lewis. We're going to talk about that in this video. <laughs> So before we get into the topic of this video, I want to remind you guys who Paul is, especially for those that learn as we go, because I do realize majority of my followers are those out there that's learning. So Paul is an American sports reporter. His primarily focus covers football. Um, he was hired in 2013 uh, by the new SEC network. Now, this is a man that has earned over 250 national regional and area sports writing awards wanted to read that out to you guys so you guys can understand that his prediction holds weights this is a man that really knows what the hell he's talking about now paul has made a bold prediction about lincoln riley's future after the 2024 season that can definitely impact juju lewis which we're going to get into in a second now lincoln riley arrived in los angeles with extremely high expectations after leading oklahoma to a 55 to 10 record over his five seasons in Norman, the Trojans have failed to live up to the hype, including a disappointing eight and five season in 2013. USC lost five of their final six games in the regular season, despite being led by one of the best quarterbacks in the nation. That is Caleb Williams. The Trojans struggled defensively ranking number 121st nationally in scoring defense, a common theme under the head coach Riley. Now, during a podcast sit down, Paul Finbaum, I may mispronounce his last name if I did, Paul, I'm sorry, discussed Riley's failure as a head coach at USC. He also boldly predicted that Riley would not return as the head coach after the next season, which would be shocking after Riley did sign a long-term contract worth $110 million. Now, if I'm Juju Lewis, I'm paying attention to everything that's being said from Paul. Now, Paul said it's not a matter of wishing him bad luck out there. That's already happening. If you look at the reality, the number of players that are bailing on Lincoln Riley in South Southern California is starting. I've always thought he was a really good coach, especially on the offensive side of the football, but I don't think anyone in today's views him in the same realm. Quite frankly, I think he'll be out at Southern Cal at the end of the season. This is a bold prediction right there. You know what I'm saying? And if Paul said it, then I'm going to actually have to take some type of attention to it. He also said it's a matter of whether it crashes and burns or whether he just decides he's got to seek elsewhere. I don't think there's any way he's going to be successful out there. I think that train has pulled out of the station. And if indeed that happens, this is one of the most historic crash and burns in the history of modern college football. So once again, as I said before, if I am Juju Lewis, I am definitely considering these things that said from, from Paul, because this is a man, as I said before, that has covered the game for many, many years. This is a man that really knows he studies. He's an ESPN analyst. This is his job. So if you are Juju Lewis, you better go somewhere where you know the head coaches are going to at least be there for your years of you know your career whether it's four years or three years you at least know coach prime is going to be there so that is something he definitely want to consider i know he's trying to focus on this upcoming season and high school and all that but listen we already know he's a real deal he's going to do that regardless but he needs to make sure if he does go to usc that he knows 100 percent that Lincoln Riley will be there because you just never know. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this. And if you guys like the video, definitely like, subscribe to the channel. Peace.